Each year, we follow the stories of Herbie Fund children who require life-saving surgery but have no hope of getting it in their home countries. But your donations to the Herbie Fund, combined with the surgical skills of the finest pediatric medical professionals in the world here at Sick Kids Hospital, bring absolute joy and relief to the families who have suffered through a medical nightmare. Tonight, we meet the host family who opened their homes to our friends Roshana and her mother, Rhonda. My husband, you're going to meet him. We're learning more and more about Guyana and we're trying Guyanese food, so it's great for us. <laughs> many, many, many thanks for your cooperation. And you all have done a very splendid thing for my daughter. Remember, we're strangers. They don't know us and they took us in. And I would like to say thanks to them. God bless them and we love them. So that's your signature right there, okay? Three months earlier, Roshana and Rhonda came to the hospital for sick children in Toronto from Guyana for complex back surgery. Gotta give mom a big kiss. It's true. I need to go come Roshana spent many weeks in the hospital wearing a halo device, which would straighten and strengthen her spine. If that was me, I would be really sad because I couldn't, I couldn't move. But she just found ways to entertain herself and she was just happy, so. And when doctors felt her back was strong enough, she had complex surgery on her spine to correct her severe scoliosis. She can go back to Guyana knowing that her spine is uh, going to fuse solid, that the curve won't progress any further, and that she'll be um, um, more confident in her appearance. Um, I don't think she's going to notice a difference to her mobility, even though the, the upper part, part of her back is going to be a single unit. Are you looking forward to going home? Yes, I do what I would miss here, especially with with Leila and the family here. Roshana and her mom have left the hospital and now at the home of the people acting as hosts while Roshana recovers from her back surgery. Roshana's amazed me. She's courageous. She's got an amazing attitude. <laughs> Just a few weeks ago, maybe two and a half weeks ago, I literally carried her from the car into the house. Yes. She couldn't walk. And now she's up and down the stairs. She's running around. She's singing all over the place. Uh, you know, she's doing amazing. You're going to miss me when I'm gone. <laughs> We need your help. Please make a donation to the Herbie Fund and help save the life of a child with a life-threatening illness. Children like the ones we met this week in Ukraine. We were thrilled to meet up with three Herbie patients at the Lviv Children's Hospital in Ukraine last June. Hey, buddy, how are you? Oh, it's so good to see you. The long-term goal is um, is basically to have uh, as many children as possible treated here and just the absolutely most complex uh, cases that can only be done in a few centers around the world. That will continue and there will always be a need for the Herbie Fund. Uh, we are very thankful to Herbie Fund, Sick Kids Hospital, Dr. Rakka and Dr. Forrest uh, because we wouldn't have what we have right now. He feels himself like all the other kids. <laughs> Yeah. We've met so many great kids this week and seen the changes in their lives after they had their surgeries that they could not have obtained in their home country. Thanks to the skilled surgeons and medical team at the Hospital for Sick Children and the host families who opened their homes and you, the people watching this program right now who donate to the Herbie Fund and help give hope to children from around the world. Look at my son now. It's, it, it, it is all because of you guys, the Herbie Fund and people who keep on donating. Thank you so much. And thanks to Herbie Fund and all the wonderful people who assist in donating. It's the Canadian thing to do to open our doors, open our hearts, and do whatever we can to help out. I know we love you. <laughs> I love you too. You've done it again. Save the lives of children with life-threatening medical conditions through your donations to the Herbie Fund. Thank you so much.